The Boy Who Stopped the World from Crying by Christopher Johnson. Walt and Wally are walking home from school. Walt throws his can of soda on the ground. The sun glares and sizzles behind him with disappointment. Walt arrives home from school to see his dad William reading his favourite magazine. Big trucks make big noises. Walt asks his dad what he knows about recycling. Walt's dad grumbles. Not much. You should ask your mother. Walt's mother, Wanda, is out in the front putting a trash out. Mother, do you know much about the environment, Walt asks. Not as much as I should, Walt. You should ask our neighbour, Terry the T-Rex, Walt's mother replies. Terry the T-Rex hits away with his huge hammer. Walt walks up to Terry the T-Rex and asks him what he knows about the environment. Terry responds, well, Walt, I know a lot about it. Today I'm installing solar panels so that I can listen to my music, play my video games as often as I want, and light my house at night. Terry the T-Rex wind turbine is whirling. I've installed this wind generator so that when the sun is covered by the clouds, I can still play my video games. I have installed this water tank so that my family can have clean drinking water all year round and I can wash my car, water my flowers whenever I want. Walt, did you know that everyone on earth is a space traveler? What do you mean, Terry the T-Rex? asked Walt. Earth is a spaceship for every creature and person on it. Earth travels 934 million kilometers per year around the sun. The Earth is the only spaceship we have. If we don't look after it, who will? Walt goes home and after dinner he sits in his bedroom thinking about what Terry the T-Rex had said. He falls asleep just like he would any other night with his light on, his TV and his video games and his computer still on. Without a care in the world Walt falls into a deep and restful sleep. That night, as Walt sleeps, he begins to dream. Walt dreams about the Earth being really upset. Why are you so upset? asked Walt. I'm upset because I'm being bullied, the Earth replies. You are so big and so strong. Who would be able to bully you? said Walt. Even the biggest and the strongest can be bullied, Walt the Earth replies. From the single, from the simple act of you throwing your empty can of soda on the ground, or leaving your video games, TV and computer on, even if you are not using them, all of these things affect my ability to care for the creatures who live on me. Walt. I'm also upset my oceans and rivers are polluted by industries and big business. My lands are ripped up and destroyed for the precious resources that I hold. My friend the sun has the ability to provide a lot of the energy we need and has done so in our solar system for a very long time. My friend the wind can help out when the sun is resting. Walt, you can help as well if you are willing. It's as simple as making sure you recycle your cans, your paper, your bottles. Just about everything is re recyclable. Glass, metal and wood. Ask your parents or a responsible adult and they can help you. Items that re you recycle are made into new items like toys, cars, computers, bikes and even houses can be made from recycled materials. Bolts. I need someone to tell the world of these things. Walt, will you be my greatest champion? Walt leaps at the chance to become the Earth's greatest champion. That morning when Walt wakes, he turns off his video game machine, computer, and light, and heads downstairs to see his parents. When Walt walks down, he talks to his dad about his dream, and his dad agrees to help. They agree to sort the trash from recycling from now on. Walt's dad William watches Walt 
Watchers Walk, walk the Recycling Out for Collection. Walt's dad also finds some stuff he would like to recycle. They both head over to drop it off, some cans and bottles at the recycling centre. While the sun sizzles and smiles behind him. While walking to school, Walt tells Wally his friend about his wonderful dream. Walt asks Wally to be one of the Earth's greatest champions as well. Wally leaps with excitement. That day at school, Walt tells all his friends and classmates about how the Earth has been upset and bullied and ask them if they would like to be the Earth's greatest champion. They are super excited. Walt's teacher, Mrs. Wonder, looks on with a proud gaze of wonder and admiration. Walt's dad and Terry the T-Rex install some solar panels on their house. With the permission of his parents, Walt and his friends, Larry, Coral and Bob the Blob, do some recycling of their own. That night, as Walt slept, he dreamt of his friend, the Earth, and is greeted with an amazing smile. Thank you, Walt, for being my champion. Thank you, most of all, for being my friend. Just with your simple actions, you have made the world a cleaner place. Are you brave enough to be one of Earth's greatest champions, like Walt? Chris from Johnson Inhouse and also the author of this book. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like a Kindle version of this book, simply visit Amazon.com. Um, if you would like to see more books from us or more video books, please share, subscribe and like this video so we can go out there and create them for you. If you would like to get some colouring in books or an audio book of the book that you have just watched, simply visit JohnsonInhouse.com. Have a great day.